Ooh, we've got a tough one here, or a potentially tough one. Let's Collins the whole thing off. In Week 17, Jalen Collins had five total tackles, three defended passes, and an interception against the Saints. You are down four points, 10 to 14, with four minutes left in the fourth quarter. The Falcons have the ball. You do not have the ball. I repeat, you do not have the ball. You are down by four. The Falcons have the ball at their 25. It's first and 10, win the game. So I've got to stop them and then come back with a drive. All right, we have to stop them, and they're. This is the first challenge I've had to restart. I had it in hand too. It fumbled in the end zone, which is just lame. And they're milking clock here, which is well, they can't. They did the just a minute ago. They milked the clock. For some reason, the clock started last time. I was like, what? That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Second down following the run. Do your thing, front. Do your thing. On second down, Ryan. Oh. Another interception. Yes. Look at it. It's Marcus Peters again. I got to look for a better card of his. See if he has a better card. Because I'm still using his most feared card. All right. He's really being a pick machine today. Mm. 323. That's... Uh, Go really nice slide the right, the run. Oh, that guy got caught. It's fine, it's fine. So get ninjas. I'm going to power this up the middle. Formation. We're gonna put Henry in, and we're gonna go up the middle here. So this go with a trap. Really needs to make something happen here, late in the fourth, with the football. The play clock's running down. There's the former Heisman winner. It's Derrick Henry. And he's able to get it down to the We can get down to the two minute warning now. So tempo two clock. Alright. That off. Get automatically goes and go off. Get the first down. That's exactly what they did. 25 yard line. First and 10. I need to run it. So it's our visitors with a football so, uh, to get you reset. Henry in there. And let's see what they've Ooh, come up like with that. offensively after having time to talk it over. He's not moving out. And the D looking like they may blitz. Yeah, they're shifting over. They keep it with Henry on first down. Oh! And certainly some style. For a sec, that scares game. me sometimes. I just fumbled the ball in the end zone. <laughs> Earlier, and that little user spin. I was like, fumble, no. <laughs> All right, 143. When are they going to start calling timeouts? I guess they're ahead. They're not worried about it. 18-yard line. Let's go up the middle. See if they stay on the ground for a second down. Oh, what am I doing? Well, that's one way to burn the clock down. Jesus. All right, second eight. 
They're going to be playing pass, but it's all right. Timeout yet. How much they like to run crossing routes because they want to hit their receivers. I need your formation. Keep them moving. Three. How about when you hit a tight end that way? Sub in. The receivers are going to run past you most of the time. The tight end, they can do their damage a different way. Stretch. A few tackles and really scatter some people, can't they? They're loading a box. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to fight his way forward here. Well, I recall on timeouts now. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their um, first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Nine yards. I'd have Hilly here. Well, it's a little tight for that. It's a touchdown, baby. Alright, two points don't doesn't matter. Well it does, it forces them. It forces them to uh go for it. So I need this. So mesh. Check out Julio if I need a timeout. He's all right. Okay, let's try to screw with him for a second. All right. That forces them to not try to tie it. 33 seconds. We have to keep them out of the end zone. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points. That's delayed. If I, if I go back, switch over to the input, HDM, HDMI input of my console instead of the. Um, I have it running through the PC like a dupe. I'd probably be all jacked up on that, killing the kicks. All right, uh, we need to get a quarters, man up three deep. It's going to be in quarter three deep. Of course. I use Bill's defensive playbook and Patriots offensive playbook. Just so you know. People ask that sometimes. I always fail to mention that. Mine. Oh, Collins, straight out of Alabama. I don't know if you picked out that I have a lot of Alabama players on my team. Not as many as I'd like, but the thing is there's a lot of Alabama players under the from the Saban era under, in the NFL period. So a lot of people have probably at least one Alabama player on their team. Uh, I don't know. I mean, for example, Julio Jones, Alabama, you know. Landon Collins, Alabama. Marcel Darius, Alabama. On, on, on. The list goes. Derek Henry, Alabama. Um. Fills my ball. And make sure that they don't start finger 21 seconds. When a touchdown's given they're up, mine. They, say, okay, they have three timeouts, now. though, so we, down, we can't just nail. Instead, we can, but we can't. Again. And try and play a little bit better. Yeah, we'll see if they can play a little bit better. You screw up with the math or they do it just right, you know. Gotta protect the ball though. Now a handoff looking right. Looking Not trying anything fancy, just holding on to that ball. Just moving that clock. Moving that clock. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the Don't need to put it in the air. Don't believe I have to. That stretch allows me to. Um, allows me to burn clock. Back to the ground. This time it's Anderson, and he'll be taken. And the Falcons going to use another time. See him burning clock. Second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. They got one more timeout. <sighs> Should be good. I'm con I'm not converting. <sighs> I'm so not. I'm going. I'm good, even if I give the ball over. But I won't. I won't. 
Liners definitely shifted. Now they try the right side here. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave them. Eight the seconds, down. fourth and six. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. Could kick a field goal now here, and then I kick it off. Stoppage here as we step aside. Eight so seconds, eight seconds, eight seconds. What do you do? Now they're back out and ready. I mean, you got to go for the first down here. I mean, come on. Through the air. And here's a big one you don't now. have to, to but this lead. They're gonna go for it here on you can't force down. it. Can't force it. Out with one back and three tight ends. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Out to the left here to read. And he's gonna have a first. Still only had to wait. He was so covered. All right. Well, there you go. There is the challenge. All right, 400 coins. Oh, yeah, it's just a contract pack. Contracts are important, though. And 100 coins. 100 more coins. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope that helps on that challenge. That challenge actually uh, was the first one I actually had to restart that I recall of these challenges uh, because I fumbled it on in the end zone. Uh, but you obviously have to stop them on defense. You don't have to pick it off, uh, like I did, but, uh, definitely helps. <laughs> and then, and then control the clock. I mean, I mean, you know what to do. Uh, but I guess these videos probably focus more towards people who are newer to the game. So, um, uh, like to me, whenever the clock is under, under about a minute, about a minute or under, and you like, and you're kicking the ball off, and you're trying to hold them out of the end zone, or even out of the field goal range. In in my case, the way I play it, play quarters three deep, man up three deep, and that's a pretty good defense. I like to come off of the edge, off the line, and then just use her back uh, after they throw the ball, because because uh, typically they're throwing long deep balls, and uh, and you can usually at least 50 to 75 percent of the time pick those off and, and um, at the very least you can swat them because you have so many guys around but take care and thanks for watching of course